Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, Trump is opening up Obama's secret record. Will reveal what all of America deserves to know. At long last, the American people may finally get some answers with regards to the Obama administration's infamous gun trafficking scandal, dubbed Fast and Furious. As the leftist progressives continue to look for non-existent Russian boogeymen under their beds, the Trump administration is promising to release the documents pertaining to the scandal that former Attorney General, Eric Holder, refused to provide. Fast and Furious was one of many scandals under the Obama administration yet there were no special prosecutors appointed, no grand juries convened, no leaked memos to the New York Times by way of a friendly and oh-so-helpful professor from Columbia, and no mysterious anonymous sources speaking to The Washington Post. In case you have forgotten, Operation Fast and Furious was an operation during the Obama regime that worked in coordination with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives ATF, in which the federal government allowed criminals to buy guns in Phoenix area shops with the intention of tracking them as they were transported into Mexico. However, the ATF lost track of more than 1,400 of the more than 2,000 guns they allowed smugglers to buy. Amanda Gonzalez a spokeswoman for the House Oversight Committee, said in a statement to Fox News, For over six years, the House Oversight Committee has fought for additional documents related to Operation Fast and Furious. Today, the committee finally reached a conditional settlement with the Department of Justice. The committee seeks all relevant facts so we can learn from the mistakes made by the Justice Department. We have a responsibility to uncover why they worked so hard to hide this information from the committee, the family of slain Border Patrol agent Brian Terry and the American people. Terry was murdered in 2010 by an illegal alien with a weapon used in the epically botched Operation Fast and Furious. He died in a gunfight between Border Patrol agents and members of a six-man cartel rip crew, which patrolled the desert along the U.S.-Mexico border looking for drug dealers to rob. The cartel member suspected of killing Terry was apprehended in 2017. Terry's family, Specifically his brother Ken Terry want the scandal to be investigated and those responsible to be held accountable for their actions. Yet, Obama consistently states his administration was scandal-free. When reminded of scandals such as Fast and Furious that took place on his watch, Obama referred to them as phony scandals. American Thinker had this to say of so-called phony scandals stating, Phony scandals are those that do not have a smidgen of evidence of a crime, like alleged Trump collusion with the Russians or obstruction of an investigation that was never stopped or even slowed down. Phony scandals do not produce body bags as the Obama administration produced in Benghazi and during Operation Fast and Furious, the Obama administration's GN running operation in which it armed Mexican drug lords and cartels with heavy weapons for which the U.S. Border Patrol had no match or protection. That gun-running operation led to the murder of U.S. Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. Well, it seems this announcement just blew the lid off of one of the Obama regime's phony scandals. Reuters reports, the U.S. Justice Department has agreed to provide congressional investigators confidential records on a failed gun trafficking operation during the Obama administration known as Fast and Furious that long has been criticized by Republican lawmakers. In a statement issued on Wednesday, Attorney General Jeff Sessions said the Justice Department would hand over documents to the Republican-led House of Representatives Committee on Oversight and Government Reform that had been withheld by Democratic former President Barack Obama's administration. The agreement reached by Republican President Donald Trump's administration will effectively end a six-year-long legal battle in which the committee had gone to federal court to try to enforce a subpoena it had issued to obtain the records. Congressional Republicans have been pressing the Justice Department for years about the operation. Named after a movie about car racing, the operation sought to curb GN trafficking criminals who were selling weapons to Mexican drug cartels. In June 2012, the Republican-led House voted to hold Attorney General Eric Holder, an Obama appointee, in contempt for failing to turn over documents about the operation. The committee sued Holder for access to the documents in August 2012. Obama asserted executive privilege to block the disclosure of the documents. Democrats at the time accused Republicans of engaging in a partisan witch hunt. In an effort to build bigger cases against major GN traffickers who were selling arms to Mexican cartels, U.S. law enforcement officials elected not to prosecute lower-level offenders transporting more than 2,000 illegal guns. According to Fox News, the Justice Department entered into a conditional settlement agreement with the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. The settlement agreement was filed in federal court in Washington, D.C., and ended six years of litigation arising out of the Obama regime's refusal to produce records subpoenaed by the committee. 
Attorney General Jeff Sessions said in a statement, The Department of Justice under my watch is committed to transparency and the rule of law. This settlement agreement is an important step to make sure that the public finally receives all the facts related to Operation Fast and Furious. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.